yellow rock. What is yellow rock and how do you use it when communicating with a narcissistic person? So we talk a lot about gray rock. Gray rock being when you are speaking with a narcissistic person and they start manipulating you or they're trying to hoover you or whatever it is that you feel reactive to. Instead of being reactive, you just get boring. So gray rock would be like they're manipulating and gaslighting and you go, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you wait till it's done and you walk away. Yellow rock is when you're engaging with the narcissistic person and you're keeping it pleasant, you're keeping it friendly, you're keeping it at a low level of contact, a low level level of communication where they aren't so much noticing the gray rock, right? So you might instead say, oh, is that so? Oh, interesting, okay. Or um, for an example might be when you are, say parallel parenting with a narcissistic person and they start writing to you and they, and they, they send you this long drawn out email and it, it's got criticisms, it's got um, words like, you know, I'm doing this in the child's best interest, I don't see you, blah, 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 and, it, and it's, you know, talking bad about your parenting, it's talking bad about you as a person, and you could gray rock it and say nothing, right, or but say there's a couple questions in there that you need to answer, so gray rock would be like just answering those questions, right, yes, no, so with yellow rock in an example of parallel parenting. Say you're communicating with them either on an app or hopefully, or email, hopefully, or text, whatever it is. And they write you a long drawn out thing. They start hoovering you in there, or they start attacking you or start criticizing you or whatever it is they're doing. Their word salad is in there. And they're coming at you with a whole lot of stuff that's making you feel really triggered and really aggravated. And what you want to do is tell them exactly what you think, right? You want to tell them off. You want to engage with it. Or you're falling for the Hoover and you want to say, oh, I love you too, blah, 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 you know. So whatever it is, you want to engage with it, but you know better and you know that you need to step away. So gray rocking it would be just not to, not answering at all or, or answering it in one to three word sentences, right? Like very short. Yellow rock would be, hello, got your email. Here's my response to, and then you'd list the things and you'd keep it really short and succinct. Thursday's dental appointment for the ch child is at blah, blah, blah. You will be contacted after with information. Okay, that's a nicety. If you're gray rocking, you're like dental appointment four and that's it, right? So yellow rock is adding in some niceties that make it appear like a normal conversation, but you're ignoring and completely dismissing all of the other stuff. You're not engaging in a Hoover. You're not engaging in anything toxic that they're saying to you. You're doing need to know only, but you're doing it politely. Polite and businesslike is how I like the yellow. That's how I like the yellow rock approach. Polite and businesslike. So here's the thing. With gray rock as well as yellow rock, you got to know why you're doing it. We are not doing this to manipulate other people because we're trying to hurt them. We're not doing this because we want to stay involved and win. We're not doing it to manipulate things to get our way when it's our way. What we're doing, especially when, when it, there's children involved, is to keep the playing field even, to make sure the child is the best interest that we're talking about, not one or the other of the parents. And then after that, to serve your own household, whatever works for your household, and the child first, right? You're not trying to negotiate back and forth. You're not trying to compromise with the narcissist because you can't, because every time you give an inch, they'll take, you know, a whole lot more than an inch. So it's meant to diffuse things. It's meant to keep things even and, and keep the tempers low. And it also presents well if needed. Remember that you're operating or you're functioning from the moment right now. You're trying when you're yellow rocking to not go into the past and throw past at them. And you're trying not to project too much into the future. You're trying to deal with what is the matter at hand right now. That's the only way to deal with a narcissist when you're doing this stuff. If you're trying to play five plays into the future, you can guarantee they're playing 10. So just work on what's right now and then let the rest go. This is about learning to 
make them in your mind less significant and to manage the relationship in a way because it still is a relating right to manage the situation in a way that is the least harmful to yourself and to your children so understanding how narcissists operate understanding the pathology or the methods of their tactical manipulation is super useful. So that way, when you recognize it, when you recognize they're gaslighting me, oh, look, they're always doing that thing. It feels like this to me. Or, oh my gosh, they're all, they're future faking again. They're trying to hoover me. When you understand these things, you can operate from outside of them. You cannot fall for them and not, not take the bait, so to speak. And you can then use a technique like yellow rock or gray rock to approach them in a way that simply gets the information that they need to know to them. Remember that with yellow rock, just like gray rock, it's sticking to the facts, just the facts in the least emotional way you possibly can. The difference between gray rock and yellow rock would be you're adding niceties. It's not that you feel the niceties, you're adding pleasantries. You're adding a more sort of friendly tone in order to diffuse the situation, not because you're afraid of what they think or you want them to like you or you're trying to be a friend to them, not because of that. It's because you're trying to make it less hostile coming from you and hopefully it will affect them in a way where they then love bomb instead, which hopefully by now you can resist, right? See, here's the thing. You've got to be aware of what you're doing. You've got to be aware that you're not trying to win them back and you don't want them back. When you're yellow rocking, it's about keeping things as neutral as possible, using a more either business-like or friendly tone that is not hostility provoking for the narcissistic person. You're using it strategically to calm their ego. Okay, and remember to be realistic with this, that you're not trying to gain, you're not trying to win, you're trying to simply communicate less uh, provocatively so that hopefully there isn't at too much of coming back at you. Remember, they always have to have the last word, so they're gonna say something else at the end anyway, and they're probably gonna negate you or, keep on criticizing you. But then it becomes kind of funny because you're like, look, even when that someone talks nice to them, they act like a jerk. All right. Okay. And know that at any time when you are using the gray rock method or the yellow rock method, when you are not with a narcissist, that you can end the conversation and you can walk away. You can step away from the situation. If you are still in a relationship with a toxic person and you are using either yellow rock technique or gray rock technique, Remember that you need to stay safe at all cost and to step away might take a little bit longer, but do step away, even if it means waiting until they finish their monologue and then step away and try to get it out of your head. Try to see, oh, I strategically handled that. They're gonna go off and do what they always do. And now I am going to do some self-care and take care of me. So in other words, once you're away from it, step away from it, get out of it in your head, focus on something else, try and build more and more separation from the enmeshment that happens between you and the narcissistic person. I'm Lise Clucci, and I'm here to help you with things related to recovery and healing and understanding from narcissistic people in your life or toxic relationships in your life. If you need any help, coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in the description of every video. Otherwise, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.